Hi all, welcome to the daily current affairs session by NEO AS. Today we are discussing the current affairs for 5th November 2018 and the topics are Greater Flamingo, Signature Bridge, Appendix and Parkinson's disease, Water ATMs and in MAP aided program we will be dealing with Cinemaly Bridge and PQR session that is discussing a previous year's question. So first let me move to the Greater Flamingos. So, why this is in news? A flock of five greater flamingos has been spotted on the coast of Hope Island. So, the Korinka Wildlife Sanctuary is in Agra Pradesh and in this region a flock of flamingos has been noted. Then, just look on to what are flamingos. Flamingos are a type of wading birds in the family Phoneptoteridae. Four flamingo species in America and two species in old world that is Africa, Europe and Asia. It is found in Africa on the Indian subcontinent in the Middle East and Southern Europe also. And in India that is in Gujarat, flamingos can be observed at the Nal Sarovar Bird Sanctuary, Khijadiya Bird Sanctuary, Flamingo City and in the Toll Bird Sanctuary. About the news. So these flamingos are long necked, long necked birds and they were last seen in a group about two and a half decades ago. The sighting is an important development as the birds are always on the lookout for mud flats for their nesting. So they are always looking for mud flats for their nesting. So they are the filter feeders and they get their pink color from the diet of brine shrine and algae available in the coastal wetlands. These flamingos are the indicators of healthy coastal environment too. This is a picture depicting flamingos. So, next is Flamingo City. The Asia's largest flamingo breeding ground is known as the Flamingo City and it is located in the Kutch Wildlife Sanctuary of Gujarat. Next, Flamingo City is an important bird area declared by BirdLife International. Greater flamingos started descending to an island called Andabat in the Greater Ran of Kutch, which is the largest netting site of the species in the country. Then, next is the Asian Waterbird Census. It was initiated in 1987 and it is a citizen science program to count the water birds in Asian region. And every January, thousands of volunteers across India they started uh, visiting wetlands and count the water birds. It's an integral part of the global water bird monitoring program and the international water bird census. It runs parallel with the regional programs of international water bird census in Africa, Europe, West Asia and the Neotropics and the Caribbean too. We move on to the signature bridge. So, the signature bridge is inaugurated at Delhi. It's double the height of the Kutab Minar and has been delayed over 14 years and it is the country's first asymmetrical cable state bridge. It connects Vasirabad across the river Yamuna to East Delhi. So, the main advantage of this bridge is that it reduces the travel time between north and northeast of Delhi. This is the picture of uh, signature bridge. So next moving on to the next topic, it is the appendix and Parkinson's disease. So why is this topic in news? The recent study has found that in those persons whom the appendix has been removed, in such persons we are, we have not that there is high risk reduction in developing Parkinson's disease. Then. What is more? It acts as a reservoir for abnormally folded alpha synuclein proteins. It is an abnormally folded alpha synuclein proteins are closely linked to the onset and progression of Parkinson's disease. So, removal of appendix in early stage helps the person. In such persons, this Parkinson's disease rate is very less or nonetheless we can say that it is not occurring about appendix that is vermiform appendix vermiform means it's a worm like okay and the vermiform appendix is a blind ended tube connecting connecting 
to the cecum from which it develops the embryo. The cecum is a pouch-like structure of the colon. It is located at the junction of the small and the large intestine. So it is a vestigial organ. Actually, this appendix is a vestigial organ. What is a vestigial organ? It is a structure that has lost all or most of its original function. But recent study states that it plays a very important role in maintaining the immune system of the body. And it also found that it regulates uh, the makeup of the human gut bacteria too. Here you can see the vermiform appendix. So next about the Parkinson's disease. It is a long term degenerative disease, actually uh, its symptoms uh, often generate very slowly and early symptoms include shaking, rigidity, slowness of the movement and difficulty in walking along with thinking and behavioral problems too. Dementia, it is also a common symptom, depression, anxiety, such symptoms are also observed. These symptoms are always observed in the later stages. The main motor symptoms are collectively called Parkinsonian syndrome. The next topic is water ATMs. Why is this in news? The government is increasingly starting to accept small water enterprises such as water ATMs and community. 82 crore people do not have access to piped water and 70% of water is contaminated by pollution. These all points indicate the high risk of getting pure water. And the CAG pointed out that 18% of the rural population has access to portable water. And Nidhi Ayog says that India is ranked 120 out of 122 countries on the water quality index. Then next we are going to discuss about the water ATMs. It is a water vending type of machine similar to our ATM and this can be initiated by putting a coin. The, the mechanism under this water ATM is reverse osmosis. So RO technology is used to purify the water before dispensing. Then the water ATM launched in Delhi. You can just see the mechanism. Okay? It is powered by a solar energy. Then it is linked to the main server through cloud computing and it is provided with a smart card. It is all, The smart card is also known as server gel card which is used to draw water from water venting machine. And we can also recharge at a single time a customer can use up to 20 liters of water. Then uh, next I am discussing a policy that is it is a mission of central government to provide piped water to 100% houses by 2030. Next we are going to deal with the MAP aided program and in that we are discussing Sinemali bridge. The Sinemali bridge links the islands of Mali and Fulhuli in Maldives. It is a 2.1 kilometer long bridge. It, have, uh, it has got separate links for cars and separate lanes for bicycles, motorcycles and even for pedestrians too. It was opened on 30th August 2018. It was originally called the China Maldives Friendship Bridge because it was built by the fund which we received from the Chinese government. That is our signature bridge. This is the map showing the Sinemali Bridge. And next is the PQR session. In that, we are going to discuss one previous year's question. So, the question is In which of the following categories of protected areas in India are local people not allowed? So, the options are A. Biosphere Reserve, B. National Park, C. Wetlands declared under Ramsar Convention, and D. Wildlife Sanctuaries. In National Park, actually, peoples are not allowed and in wildlife sanctuaries some type of economic activities and peoples are allowed to enter and in a biosphere reserve some type of economic activity including uh, by the local people are allowed and as you all know the wetlands the access is much minimalized.
So naturally, the answer will be national park. Because in a national park, the people entry is much restricted. So the answer is B, national park. Answers B. That's all for today's session. Thank you for listening.